What's going on you guys? It's good to have you guys here today. My name is Tom from Plants and Aquaria. Um, if you're new to the channel, we're currently renovating the store. Don't mind if my nose sounds a little bit clogged or dusty. Uh, we've been drilling holes all over the place and you know, dusty drywall. It's just, I need to air out the space, seriously. Today, we're gonna be setting up our cascade tank. My trans father or my father-in-law is coming today to help us install a support board under this giant cascade frame tank right here. This is made out of metal at the bottom to help hold the tank. And the cascade is pretty much 200 gallons, give or take. And this whole thing is, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's gonna weigh a lot. So the idea is the support board will help even out the weight for us instead of having the weights pinpointed on each of the four legs here. So today's exciting because we're doing our first ever giveaway on the channel. We're gonna be giving away some goodies to two lucky people who are currently subscribed or will be subscribed to the channel. So what we had made was Planted Aquaria Gold Supporter Pins. Look at that. A pin at the back so you can remove them. I, be, I have one stuck on my backpack right now, but my backpack's at home. But yeah, this is what it looks like. But yeah, we'll be giving away two of these. And don't worry if you don't win one today, there will be more chances in the future. We're gonna be giving away tons of these guys. We have a limited amount though, unfortunately. When we open, we'll be doing way more giveaways on Planted Aquarius channel and you'll have your chance to get one of these guys too. Also, what will be in the giveaway is our retractable towels. We have these custom made. You can pretty much, you can clip them to the side of your pants with this little clip here, or you can clip it onto your jeans if you want. And pretty much they retract from your waist, so you don't always have to grab that towel if you're dealing with your fish tanks and you know your hands are wet. You can simply just boom, boom. Isn't that crazy? Okay. And last but not least, in the package, you will also receive a Planted Aquaria face mask because currently times are weird and difficult, so make sure you guys are staying safe uh, the best you could be, and you know. That's all I really know what to say, but yeah. That is it for the giveaway portion of this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. You guys don't want to be missing out on these giveaways. There's also other stuff in the giveaway package as well, like we're throwing away a t-shirt. But we'll contact you, the winner. If you do happen to win, we'll make sure you get the right size uh, for you. But yeah, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, check it out. We got our support board installed underneath like i mentioned just to help out with the weight of these four legs and then we got a board sitting on top too which we're going to paint black and we're going to have display shelves installed in the middle here too so we can have some products and at the same time my trans dad managed to oops managed to cut the hole for us so tomorrow we're going to go to home depot and get something so we can screw this bulkhead tight against the glass here. And then we're gonna be setting up the canister filter with the Oase canister filter, the Bio Master Thermo 850. Now we're gonna be Teflon taping these adapters to fit our canister filter. Um, basically in Canada, we don't have enough pieces available for us, so we had to basically adapt this guy to this guy, down to this guy, and this piece right here is gonna be connected to this tubing. So we're gonna do that now and get back to you guys. Are right, you guys, check it out. It's complete. I'm just kidding. What we need to do now is cut the pipe about yay high so the water doesn't overflow too much on this side. And then for this side over here, we're gonna cut the pipe roughly up to here, just so it'll match the rim of that tank right there, uh, right here. So what I also did was I just installed our canister filter. You can see the tubes running. This is the outflow tube connected right there. I had to leave some slack because if it was directly connected, the tube was bent, um, would have got bent. So that's why I had to do, um, or sorry, leave a little bit of extra room on the tube. Same thing for this side here. This is the inlet. 
so all the water will go into the canister filter from this side. And what we're doing right now is we have our box of biomedias over there and we're just preparing the biomedia tray that goes inside the canister filter. We replaced one of these trays that had a sponge in it with some extra biomedia that we're gonna put. Um, because basically this is what they gave you. This is the biomedia that it comes with. It's not the greatest, you know, and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be using. Okay, you guys, check it out. We cut the black ABS pipe, glued it into our bulkhead made sure it was lower than the side of the tank, the lowest point, because obviously you don't want water gushing out too much, or if any at all. And right now we're filling the biomedia, like I mentioned earlier, we had our own. We bagged some of our own biomedia that we purchased instead of using the stock ones that I came with. These are plastic, so they're, they're useful, but they're not as great for housing bacteria, in my opinion. Um, compared to these guys, we have some yellow porous stones. Underneath we have the white rings, ceramic rings. And under that are the red volcan volcanic rocks rings. So we got three of those, or one set each makes up three housing for bacteria. And we're going to stick that in there right now in the canister filter. And then we're also going to put in the gravel for the cascade tank. So, be right back. All right, you guys, check it out. We got our waterfall cascade tank going on working. The top of the flow, again, starts there. It works its way all the way down here. We did fill it with cold water just because we didn't need immediate usage of this tank. So in the next week or so, it's just gonna get room temperature anyways, or it's gonna hit room temperature. Um, I could not do the max flow rate on this tank because then it'll suck too much water and then eventually it'll just end up sucking air. So that'll stop the whole canister filter from working. So we actually adjusted it to about a little bit over half the flow rate that this canister filter can provide but that's all right I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of what it looks like coming out it doesn't look like much because it's a two inch pipe but it's actually a lot of water coming out of here any comments you have to say about the water tank no, not really. <laughs> we're also gonna paint the bottom board black Mytran and I are gonna do that. Mostly Mytran. This is the paint we're gonna be using for that. And it's mold resistant. Oh, well, maybe I should just flip it to the English side. Oh, there you go. So that's gonna be for tomorrow. Just wanna show you guys how I ran the power cable too. Got a power bar mounted right here. And then we got some heavy duty plastic cord covers to go along the bottom of the floor, reaches the outlet there. We're also gonna have a CO2 canister right beside this filter right here. That's gonna provide CO2 for all of this tank. We're gonna have like a 10 pound CO2 cylinder, I believe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. In the next few weeks, hopefully less than a month, we're gonna be introducing plants to this tank and have it ready for our customers. And hopefully we can have everything ready by May. Just want to show you guys, we got our gondola set up with some stuff displayed out right now. I'm working on um, adding a bunch of stuff to the shelving. Still in the work, we got fishnets. These are my favorite thermostats, or sorry, thermometers. These guys are just great. They stick on the outside of your glass and they're pretty much digital, so. We also got some oxygen supplies, some sponges very coarse sponges and some driftwood ready the biomedia we have going on right now too we're also going to be bringing in other biomedia uh, i'll be talking about that more later on and then this is our aquascaping tank that you can be or we're going to fill it with sand so you can test your aquascaping before you you know buy it 
like the stones and rocks and the driftwood get an idea of what you want to do at home before you actually make your purchase gonna add some lighting up top too and yeah that's pretty much it we have lots to do still we're actually moving this shelf downstairs for the beta display and then we're gonna have to get some fridges in for the tropica plants the tissue culture plants as well as a freezer for frozen food so yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. If you liked the video and enjoyed me setting up the Cascade tank and you wanna see other videos like that, let me know. If you guys wanna see me set up my 90 gallon tank, for example, let me know about that. I'm actually gonna have a staff of mine um, escaping that tank and he's pretty good at it, so it's gonna be awesome. He might be in the video, um, that's totally up to him. Uh, we'll see you in the future. Remember for the giveaway to like, comment on this video specifically Make sure you're subscribed and then you do have to fill out the XL form in the description below because we're in Canada and you have to do a skill test questionnaire. But other than that, good luck to you guys. Hope you guys have the best chance of winning. There's, remember, there's gonna be two winners. So, um, I mean, if there's less of you, there's, there's only 10 of you competing. Out of 10 people, two of them get the prizes, right? So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.